Hey guys, Busty6 here with another video. Um, this is just kind of showcasing the Siphon Mage Dreadnought that I finished up. Um, using the webcam again. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, I'm using a tissue box as a stand. A little bit up there. But, he looks really cool. I'll try and get a little closer in. But, uh, I'm just gonna give you farther back. You can usually see more of the detail on this. Um, I'm gonna go in in a sec, but a little bit about um, what paints and stuff I used. I used All Games Workshop paints. Um, he was done in chainmail, then washed with azure blue, then washed with Badab black, and then a little bit of highlights here and there. I wanted it to be dark though. Well, the red was mechrite red, uh, red gore, and then washed with a little bit of highlighting back up. Uh, the purity seals were mechrite red, washed with bedab black, uh, highlighted with fiery orange, I believe, or blazing orange. Gold was shining gold, or hand in dark sun, shining gold, burnished gold, bedab black wash. These scrolls and booklets and stuff was all, uh, Talon flush. Um, oh no. Yeah, I think it was Talon flush. Something like that. Uh, bleach bone, a wash, and then highlighted up with bleach bone again. Then I went in and I took a uh, bedab black and I did some of the writing on the scrolls, which looks really cool. And yes, these do come off. Uh, what's actually holding them on is a little bit of white tack. See there, but you don't see it when they're on, so that's good. Yeah. This one on. I hold them on nice. Now we just go in to there. Um, hopefully that shows some detail. as best as possible guys let's see if I can lift them up again uh, directly there that actually looks like it's coming out pretty good on camera so there you go see the writing on the scrolls actually on this one these are just down a little bit remove this thing on the little book there's actually actual writing on it a little bit um so i got that with the uh the really tiny brush um, overall, I'm really proud of this guy. I really like the way he looks. Um, I like the amount of red and gold with the silver. Um, yeah, it's an Inquisitor Dreadnought, in case you didn't realize that. This is from Forge World. It has like the, uh, I believe it's from Forge World. I got this from someone else, but the little designs on the feet and stuff. Let me get the stand again. Much easier. The little things over here on the feet, on the ankles, I guess. Um, I really like the way this guy came out. Uh, and the base, you've seen the base before, I think. Uh, lava, like. 
But, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little showcase. Uh, hopefully the uh, camera gave you pretty good detail of them. Excuse me. And uh, tell me what you think about them. Uh, when I get some primer and stuff, I'm going to paint up the other uh, Siphon Dreadnought I have, who's just a regular Venerable Dreadnought. But uh, he should be pretty cool. Um, I love the way these guys work in game. And uh, I love the way they, or this one at least, has been painted. So he'll definitely be a key part of my list in games and stuff. Just because I really love the way he looks. Um, certain things could have been touched up, but I was actually trying to rush this guy to play an Apocalypse game yesterday. Which you'll see footage of, like I said in my last video. It wasn't actually fully finished being painted, but um, it was pretty close. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed Tell me what you think. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I just actually show you in here quick. There's nothing special in there, but I did paint in there silver, and same on the other side. So if I put his arms on again, give you a last little look at him for now. Actually, also on the back. On the back of the legs and on the smokestacks, they're actually done. Look like they're a little worn with some black and tin bit bronze, dwarf bronze and stuff like that. Um, I really like the way that part came out too. So yeah, like I said guys, tell me what you think. Talk to you guys soon. Look forward to the next video.